Alright, how you going guys? So, um, I was just doing one here for uh, making you think. Um, he has a gospel here that he uh, likes to copy and paste everywhere. Um, so, like he goes all over the channels and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, he's got this thing he's made up, uh, a straw man. <laughs> Fundamentalists being pushed, so so there's this thing he's he's created called Fundamentalists. So you can go to his like website there. He calls himself Galactic Logos. All right, so um, yeah, Galactic Logos. You've um, I'll talk to him there now. So you you've got your your side here, mate. Um, our purpose. All right, so our you don't put my purpose okay to provide readers with information uh, viewpoints so you'll go on about critical thinking skills are sadly lacking all right so I'm assuming critical means attack all right just attack everything everything that's said all right so th this is what I get from you because you you don't seem like you're a constructive sort of person you're more attack Thus, they are easily prey for any group, organization, guru, or religion, or movement, um, on and on. As we said, our purpose, all right? So you speak yourself, speak as yourself as a we. You've, you never say you as a person, right? So um, you're not claiming to be an individual. You're claiming to be um, a part of a group or a bigger community or something or you're the leader of something um, so hence I sort of got straight away that uh, you have some sort of tie to God but you don't like God something's happened along the way where you're now um, untrusting of anything um, the main you, you've got a simple way of thinking is all Jews are bad 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 Jews um, and Christians are all come from Jews, so bad, bad Christians. Uh, all, all, all Christians are Catholics, I'm guessing. That's usually the main thing. Alright, so I noticed you put we, again, always we. And I picked up on this um, when Jesus said to him, What is your name? Right? Just speaking to him. My name is Legion, he replied, for we are many. All right, so I get this. When you've got lots of voices in your head that you're arguing with all these different groups and voices, you've put each group into a box, like Jews in that box, um, those crazy religion uh, Catholics, they're all the same. So you put all Christians into one box, all right? And these are the voices in your head, or we, you know, we are Legion. Uh, you're, that's the way you're looking at it. You don't look at each person like me, myself. You don't look at me as an individual person. I am uh, uh, in a group that needs to be attacked. And you're using this um, gospel, this is your gospel, all right, to preach your religion. All right, so I will refer to you as Legion until you give me a, you know, another name. I can't really call you, I'm making you think. Alright, so yeah, Galactic Logos you've got there as well. Um, now, religion. Let's have a look at the King James Bible, alright? You can use this thing here. You can look at any version you like. I'm not going to teach you about the Bible because um, you don't trust it, right? Which is fine, but you, um, if you do believe in a God, is your God all-powerful, alright? My God is most definitely all-powerful, right? Now, I didn't start out trusting the Bible either. What I did was is I asked God. I said, God, alright, you fix it, you do it all. You're supposed to be all-powerful, you fix me, alright? And uh, um, you you show me what Bible, whatever. And it took, when I start, first started out, it took about a week before I noticed what, what he was trying to show me because I was not attuned to be um, hearing God or seeing what he was trying to show me. Right now it's down to a day or even half a day or a couple of hours he'll show me something. All right, and I'm off again and I'm learning new stuff. So ask God what Bible he wants you to have or start off with, right? Because you'll start off with one that's suited for you. And then when you find something wrong with it, you ask and wait a day or so. You ask either Jesus or Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's the teacher, right? You ask and then you wait. And you rely on them, not on other people, nothing else, all right? And that's the way you go. You go through it that way and just keep going like that. And if you want to know something, you ask him and you keep going that way. It takes a long time. That's why 
Um, that's how foundation works and trust works, right? This is how you have a relationship with God, with the Holy Spirit. You need to build a foundation and a trust. You don't have a foundation. You're, you're blowing in the wind, right? You're left and right and all over the place. So you need to have a foundation of trust to build on. When I'm, when I'm thinking religion, this is religion to me, all right? Pure religion, undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. That's it. That's my religion. All right? Simple. And then you got the King James Bible and all that. Now, you're saying, oh, I'm not going to read all that Bible because it's made by Jews and Jews bad, bad, bad Jews. <coughs> Regardless, all right? It doesn't matter. Read it. Until you read it, all right, um, you're not going to understand it. You you. You keep quoting um, stuff Jesus says to me, but you're wrong. Everything you've said has not been Jesus' words, right? Jesus' words are in red letter, right? So you'll say, oh, there, well, there's errors in the Bible. In Luke, uh, the Lord's Prayer in Luke is different to the Lord's Prayer in Matthew, and they're both red letter, and they're both from Jesus. That's right. They're supposed to be different because they're written to different people, right? You've got Luke is written to uh, the Gentiles, and Matthew is written to Judah, Right, the the differences in there are in there on purpose. There is no errors, right? And the reason why you've run away from the Bible screaming, going, "Ah, there's errors in there," is because you don't ask God, right? You you got to trust God and ask Him yourself. Uh, do you even pray? That's the big thing. You must pray all the time. Ask, right? You're so busy out there preaching your gospel, <coughs> telling me that you believe in God, um, but you don't. Right, you you have no faith in God. God, you rely on God for everything. All right, to, to teach you all sorts of things. If um, it, it's always you that's the problem. So when when I'm not mean you personally, I mean me. You know. So if I don't get something in the Bible, I say, okay, it's my fault. I don't understand. It, it's not like <coughs> it's not like oh, oh, the Bible's all evil and made by Jews, so I won't read it. Right. It, it's me that's in error. Until I understand everything, then I I can, you know figure out what's going on so uh, yeah this this whatever this thing is that you're doing um, CIA 20 years ago flat earth's been around <laughs> this argument's been going on for a lot longer all right because you got records in the um, in the churches and all that sort of stuff and the Jesuits have got records and Mate, you've invented this thing, and uh, good on you, you know, it's something you've put in your head to, I don't know, to work out things for yourself, um, but, but whatever, yeah, the thing is, uh, you're attacking something you've never even read, you don't understand, um, you need to put a bit more effort in, mate, it takes work, it takes a lot of work, it takes study, right, yeah, I, I can tell by, well, we're, Where's this other one that you have here? Uh, yeah, this one here. Like, what is it? People like you are the reason Jesus always referred to the fundamentalists as hypocrites and den of vipers. All right, so you, it takes you five seconds. Just type in den of vipers, right? I, and I type that in, and you won't find den. Okay, so where, what do we got? We go here. All right, so you've got brood, you got generation, right? And what it actually means is generation, all right? King James Bible has generation, so if you understand what that means, that's, you, you, the other thing is if you got the this one here, right? You got tools here uh, when it loads, and in these tools. You got this here, Strong's Concordance, all right? So if you want to look up any word more detailed and understand it uh, properly, right? Click on these numbers here, and it'll give you a proper explanation. All right, so so don't be blasé and just throwing things around like you understand everything, because uh, even people that have been reading the Bible for 20 years still have to come here and make sure they understand each word. Like even s small words like uh, A or something, or He or Is, can mean four different things and you know and you'll get something out of context so uh it's a lot of study mate so if you do want god right this is what i'm saying if you do want god you've got to ask him yourself and you've got to at least admit he's real right and to do that you have to ask him yourself 
there's no other way. There's, there's no one can give you God but you, right? Because there's, there's no middleman. There's no church. There's no nothing. Enoch, right? Just look at Enoch. That's that's your goal. Enoch is gentle, right? And uh, God took him because he had faith. It's that simple, right? But he spoke to God. He would talk to God every day. Do you do you ever acknowledge God's existence? Right. This is the issue. So. Um, I can just tell by the way you speak to people is you don't have fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit is visible, right? You got nine of them, and they, and they're the ones you should ask for in prayer. Right? Goodness, kindness, gentleness, long suffering, peace, love, joy. Nothing. None of these in here. All right. All right. Hope that helps. God bless.